Okay, here we have the FD730 winding machine, just freshly brought back by myself from China. It's got a chunky motor on the back. Came with a spare uh, one of these, two different gear settings, 3000 or 2200 RPM, I believe. And a little foot switch that looks quite rugged. Goes in the side here, speed dial, power and a whole lot of Chinese characters but I managed to with a few hours of messing around and using Google Translate figured out how to program this thing so we turn it on does a little LED display test comes up this digit here refers to which winding you can have as far as I can tell 0 through 9 different winding programs so if, for example if you were if you're winding a transformer and you were going to make lots of the same transformer you you could have up to 10 windings numbered 0 through 9 and have each each number of turns for each of the 10 windings pre-programmed in my case I'm making guitar pickups so I'm gonna have a few different programs and as you push the numbers for the programs it flashes up the number of windings briefly that are programmed into that button. So there's one, it's 3300, two I've set to 4000, three I've set to 4200, 5000, etc, etc. Oddly enough, the program zero, which is kind of default program, you can't press zero to go back to it. But this little button down here, which is also for the winding number, you can see the Chinese characters for winding are there. Same Chinese characters which are under the sticker I put over that one that says winding. That also advances through the windings and that resets it to zero. So you can push this to just go through the different windings in sequence. And back to zero. Um, this, this button is for res resetting the winding counter. The counter will count whenever this thing turns. It'll count up one, one revolution at a time. So to reset the counter, you push this button down here. This is the start or pause button. Now I press start there. I turn the dial up. It'll start counting up. So you can see when it's getting near to the end of your tip winding, you can dial that back if you've got a spare hand to slow it down to zero. Uh, I'm just going to hit reset, stop, we'll pause on that, you hear a relay click, reset it, reset the counter. Now programming this was a bit of a pain to figure out, but I figured out that I go to the number of the program I wish to program so let's just say I want to set 3 to 4600 turns so I go to program 3 hold down the red button which is for set uh, sorry hold down the program button the green one until I get two little beeps and this says choose a winding to program so I'm going to go to winding 2 then you press the red button which is to determine or set the number of windings the display switches over to the number of turns display and I enter in the number of turns. So what did I say? 4600. And then you press this button again to set that in. It flashes up a big bright zero there on the display and then you've got it set. So now program 2 is set to 4600 turns. And all I need to do is hook up the bobbin and the wire um, press start or pause and then get it going. That will now go to 4600 turns. Start and pause is also what the foot switch does. So I could have that paused. Turn the speed up. If I push the foot switch now it will start again. Push it again, it pauses it. So that's basically how that works. Um, that's essentially how to drive this thing.